What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is just gonna be like a general life update video because um, a lot of crap has happened. Um, so I'm gonna tell you what's going on with the BMW, what's going on with my daily driver and the bike and everything because yeah, I haven't made a video on like actual stuff in a long time. So this bike, remember we did a video where we fixed the exhaust valve thingy because it had an engine light, the engine lights off, it fixed itself after I cleaned it out. The MV, we're still waiting on an air filter from Italy, from Italy. I almost I said it very weird there. Yeah, so we're still waiting on that. The 335i is working. Uh, I do need stronger clutches because it can't handle the boost on the stock clutch. So it is working. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not strong enough. So I have to like go slowly into the gears. Um, and it is smoking a bit. So I think the turbo is on its way out. And then the daily driver got into an accident. So somebody rear-ended me about a week ago and I'm still waiting on the insurance because getting parts is almost impossible so the boot can't even close at the moment it's it's, it's broken um, the car can't lock because it's got like central locking and because the boot can't close the doors can't lock all right I got a rude interruption there so yeah this car I can't drive it because I can't close the anything and I can't lock the car so yeah that's stuck so this has become what I have to drive now which is not ideal it's freaking heavy on fuel but at least it sounds cool and it drives nicely um and then we got another car as well that's my mom's new car I'll quickly show it to you caddy is gone we must have that VW bus thingy it's very practical but we sold it and she bought a B200 Mercedes it's a 1600 DCT so it's like quick in the gears and stuff and it's actually quite fast it's faster than i expected this thing it, it, it's not slow at all um it's got a nice interior with the screen and everything i'm not going to go in the car now because that just seems like effort to go and get the key but yeah so that's that's where life is at the moment i'm waiting to find out whether we can fix that car or not whether they're gonna just pay out money or fix it it doesn't look like bad damage but the problem is the car isn't worth a whole lot of money and parts is really expensive and this thing here on the inside is also bent badly the i don't know what the hell you call it but the whole body on the inside is like bent so it doesn't look bad but the damage is actually quite bad on to the next part of the video now i am wearing different clothes it's a different day because i went to fetch my new daily so one of my best friends said i could lend this car and I decided the right thing to do is to service the car since I'm lending it for free and it doesn't cost me money because I can't drive with that thing at the moment. So we are going to service that car today, but we're also going to check for the bearings. So I'm going to check the oil and the oil filter because it's got a knock error. Um, so the engine light came on, I checked it and it had a knock sensor, table, whatever the hell error. It doesn't want to go away. So either the car is knock, which is not good, or the sensor is broken, which I think it is. I hope it is. Otherwise, it's going to be a bloody expensive fix. But yeah, so we're going to service the thing now, check the oil for gold stuff, and then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the powerful motor that's going to take me from point A to point B till I get a car fixed let's uh, get this thing up there so yeah we've got to service this beast of an engine quickly and then so let's start by draining the oil and then we're going to do the folders and everything While the oil is draining, I really hope that thing is big enough for all the oil. It looks like it is. So let's while that is dripping out, stop by the air filter, which should be in here. Okay, let's put the air filter in there. But this is a bit of, of a crap design. So the air filter is in here, and it just it seems like the whole thing has to come loose to just get to the bloody air filter. Okay. So in order to get to this car's coils and spark plugs, you need to take off 
the ECU, like the ECU is in the airbox. What a shit design is that? Like really that dumb. Okay, so four coils, then we can get to the spark plugs. I I should put my camera up here. So you guys can actually see what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get that freaking spark plug out there because I don't have a spark plug tool and it's bloody warming, yeah? Hmm. Great. Hmm. You see, if I just had a, a nice piece of pliers, I could just like pull it out. But I didn't. See how many fucking in the other. Which one is it? This one. Wow, that, that's just genius, bruv. Yummy. Out with the old. Where the fuck is the new? In with the new. So that is all four spark plugs done. I'll check the oil now for the bearing because if it actually has knocked, there will be gold dust. That's the only time you don't want to find gold. Normally, it's a good thing if you find gold in a car. Not good. Not good at all. So the oil itself is bloody dirty, like really dirty, but I don't see any gold flakes, which is good. This is very good. I'll feel around to see if there's any like big pieces of metal, but that's a good sign. We can take the oil filter out now and see the oil that's inside the oil filter, if that's got like stuff in. So I don't have something to open to take this thing off. So I bought my own thing. Hopefully it works. It's just a piece of silicone inside of a jar opener. So the silicone can grab on and the jar opener can do what it does. It's working, I'm so smart. That a brain like this can't just live forever. Okay. Yup, but this oil is dirty. Holy moly.
NOS! I need to tighten that before I forget. So good news, it's just the lock sensor itself and it sits underneath this manifold here. So that I just have to replace. Yo, something fell in my eye. But there's no gold dust, so there's no bearing in the oil, which means the engine is still shut. It's just really dirty. That's like the grossest oil that has come out of any car I've ever serviced. But I mean, there's no metal, so that's good. So this is going to be the daily for the upcoming weeks. So we can get that thing fixed and I can actually get back to work driving my own cars because driving a BMW is just too expensive I can't afford driving that thing every day and it's not reliable enough to get me to work and back so I'm really thankful that my friend lent me this car it drives, it works it's gonna be nice and it's nice and light and fuel as well anyways, for more like other car content still subscribe um there's more bike videos coming i'm still waiting on the air filter for the mv it takes forever to come from italy so hopefully as soon as i get that we can do some more boat mo bleh, we can do some more motor vlogs and stuff so yeah if you enjoyed the video please bleh, bleh. if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe i'll check you guys in the next one cheers eh?